fill your cup with whatever you're drinking. Come join me on this next video. Welcome back to the shop. I want, I'm kind of itching to do some tool scouting. So why don't you come along with me? I have a couple places I want to go visit. Um, there's Jake's Antiques in Marion, Indiana, where I have taken you before. I don't know that I've mentioned the name of it before, but um, let's go take a look. Uh, some of the same booths we'll be visiting as we visited before, but I try to see if there's new tools or something that they've added and or something that I'm noticing that's new. Sometimes some of you complain about me moving too fast, so we'll go back through some of those booths, and if you see something there i try to slow down a little bit more but i know it's difficult with everything that there is to look at and then i want to go by a place i don't think i've taken you before and that is mike's flea market in gas city indiana so let's go over there take a look around and see if we can't find something that we can play around with here in the shop let's go mm -hmm.
that was fun running around town with you all. Now let's come down here on the bench and see what we picked up. Didn't find a whole lot of things today. I had a lot of fun looking around, but I did find these shears. And I just really like the nice slender taper here. They're still a very heavy duty construction. <clears throat> Needs, uh, it's got a nail stuck in here where the pin goes. So when you replace that pin, handle's a little bit loose right there. But um, it's really neat. If you look here at this little mechanism that they have here, they've got this little catch that grabs hold of this little notched gear that is the, the nut that holds this together so it won't slide around. All you have to do is loosen that, pull that back, and you can then loosen this nut. So if you need to tighten it, you tighten it, move it up a notch, and then tighten that screw down, and that holds that to keep it from moving. I've never seen anything like that. It looks very old fashioned. There is a little insignia right here. It's really hard to make out, but we'll clean it up and get a closer shot of it and be able to make out who made this. So anyways, join me in the future when we take and restore this thing. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. It's been great. I sure enjoy sharing all of these tools and the restorations and these little excursions with you. So thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day and God bless. Hope to see you on the next video.